Missouri and Illinois. And right now, the U.S. Geological Survey is studying the flooding on the Mississippi River around St. Louis. Bob Holmes is National Flood Coordinator and joins us from the research ship. Thank you, Bob, so much. A very cool shot and a very unique perspective and a new way to tell this story. What are you guys doing out there right now? Basically, our field crews out of the Missouri office are making uh, flow measurements here at St. Louis. So you can see we're right here at the Arch. We're right near downtown. Right now, we've got uh, uh, the latest measurement they just made that we've just called into the National Weather Service for their flood forecasting is about 840,000 cubic feet per second, wow. which uh, to put that in perspective, that's about 6.3 million gallons per second coming by right now. So we're looking at depths here about uh, 70 to 80 feet deep, and we got uh, uh, water velocities about 14 feet a second, which is about uh, 10 and a half miles per hour if you look at it from uh, that perspective. So. We're, we're real busy right now making flow measurements. Uh, the guys are dodging uh, debris here, and uh, we'll be making flow measurements here as well as on the Merrimack and on down lower on the on the Mississippi River. We're expected to crest here sometime late this evening, uh, well, early evening actually, around 6, 7 o'clock uh, today. And so the measurements you mentioned talking with the National Weather Service, so this is going into some of their modeling to, to make better forecasts in the next few hours? Right. They, they basically have computer models. Uh, the, the group that forecasts for this part of the river is out of Chanhassen, Minnesota, the Dallas Central River Forecast Center. So we're in constant connection with those guys. We'll be calling that measurement in. Uh, it goes up on the web, and uh, they're basically able to recalibrate. They, they've lowered the forecast here for St. Louis tonight by about a, a two feet. And part of that's because this is a, a winter flood, and traditionally uh, the, the bed forms, the sand that moves along the bottom of the river, is much lower, so the, the river's more efficient. So for the same amount of water, same amount of volume of water uh, flowing through, we can get it through at a lower stage. So, uh, you know, the unusual thing, this is a December flood, but that's also saving us a little bit. We're, we've saved, shaved about two feet off the forecasted crest simply because we're getting more water through here at a lower stage, which is uh, really good news. Fascinating. That is, yeah, I would have never known that. And, you know, are you, you're in the St. Louis area now. What are the plans in days to come? Are you going to be following this? Yeah, our crews are up and down. We've got a crew now on the way. We're going to be making uh, measurements all up and down the river. We'll follow this with various USGS crews. We'll be making measurements uh, all throughout this flood. We're talking cresting as late as uh, mid-January down into the areas around Vicksburg, um, Baton Rouge, Louisiana, New Orleans. We're looking at 14th, 15th of January for those crests. Our folks will be on the river uh, all throughout the holiday and into the, into the new year making those flow measurements. We also feed those to the Army Corps of Engineers. And some, sometimes we're making measurements at their request special in different locations because they're they're operating their, uh, their forecast models as well to operate the flood control. All right, Bob Holmes with the USGS. We just learned so yeah. much. Thank you so much for taking time and all the hard work you guys and gals are doing out there for us. Thank you. You bet. Thank you. Well,